an average human adult has around 5 liters of circulating blood in their body all that blood exerts a force on the walls of the blood vessel this force is called the blood pressure and it rises and falls with the cycle of heartbeat it is highest when the heart contracts to force blood through the arteries now this is called systolic blood pressure and is normally around 90 to 120 mm of mercury when the heart is at rest between beats blood pressure falls to its lowest value called the diastolic pressure this is normally around 60 to 80 mm of mercury taken together a normal reading should be around 120 over 80 but what happens when blood pressure is higher than its normal range well when the blood pressure is higher than its normal range for a regular interval a person is diagnosed to have hypertension but what really causes this let's find out if the blood thickens a higher pressure is needed to push it so the heart will pump harder adding more salt to your food causes water retention and extra fluid increases the blood volume and blood pressure stress like the fight or flight response releases hormones like epinephrine and norepinephrine that constrict key vessels increasing the resistance to the flow and raising the pressure well blood vessels can usually handle this kind of pressure due to the elasticity of blood vessel but when the blood pressure rises above 140 over 90 for a regular interval of time it can cause small tears in the arterial walls of the blood vessel when the injured tissue swells up substances that respond to the inflammation like white blood cells collect around the tears fat and cholesterol floating in the blood latch on to and eventually builds up to form a plaque that stiffens and thickens the inner arterial wall this condition is called atherosclerosis and it can have dangerous consequences if plaque ruptures a blood clot forms on the top of the tear clogging the already narrowed pipe if the clot is big enough it can completely block the flow of oxygen and nutrients to the cells of our body in the vessels that feed the heart it can lead to a heart attack where oxygen deprived cardiac muscle cells die if the clot cuts off blood flow to the brain it can lead to a brain stroke Staying flexible under pressure is a difficult job for the arteries. So avoiding the factors which are known to cause hypertension is the best way to prevent hypertension in future. <laughs>